In this video, we will take a look at some theoretical results of the finite element method, FEM. We will first derive the Galerkin orthogonality, a best approximation property, and then we will show a first error estimate, the Sea lemma. First, let us start with an abstract model problem. This is the weak form of a given partial differential equation, PDE. For the definition, we require V to be a Hilbert space with a given norm. Then the abstract model problem reads, find U in V such that A of U comma phi equals L of phi for all test functions phi in V. In this definition, the bilinear form A and the right-hand side functional L depend on the underlying PDE. In the example of the Poisson's problem, we have the H10 as our function space and the following bilinear form and right-hand side functional. To derive the Galerkin orthogonality, we consider two weak forms. The first one is the weak form where V is an infinite dimensional function space and in the second weak form, the discrete weak form, we replace the infinite dimensional space V by a finite dimensional subspace VH. We can then write down the Galerkin orthogonality, which says that the error U minus UH is A orthogonal to all functions from the finite dimensional space VH. This can be formulated as this equation. To prove the Galerkin orthogonality, we just need to subtract both weak forms and use the fact that the bilinear form A is linear in the first argument. We can also try to visualize this with a simple drawing in a two-dimensional plane, which should represent the function space V. We use the horizontal axis as our subspace VH. We can add the solutions of our weak forms to our drawing, the functions u and uh. The difference of these solutions, the red vector u minus uh, is then orthogonal in the bilinear form A to all functions phi h, which are located on the horizontal axis. Next, we will continue and derive a first error estimate. We first assume that our variational formulation of our PDE satisfies three properties. First, the right-hand side functional should be bounded. Second, the bilinear form should be continuous. And third, the bilinear form should also be coercive. With these assumptions in place, the SEA lemma gives us an upper bound for the error u minus uh in the v norm. For the proof, we will need the Galerkin orthogonality. We start with the coercivity of the bilinear form and add another term which is zero by the Galerkin orthogonality. We combine these two terms since the bilinear form is linear in the second argument. Now we apply the continuity of the bilinear form. In the last step, we reorder the terms in this inequality and pass to the infimum in the function space VH. This completes the proof. This is the end of our video on the Galerkin orthogonality and the Sea lemma. Thank you for your attention.